Hello. And welcome back to Gold War Sharp P2.0. And today uh, we have quite a couple things. The plan for today is to finally expand the business. We had talked with Harry in the last one, of course, about possibly running, you know, obviously the ammo business over in St. Denis and over in that area. Also, yes, we will take a, uh, a bath before our meeting. As you can see, we are still quite a little bit dirty. But uh, we had talked to Harry about him possibly running kind of the operations for the ammo business over in St. Denis and kind of over in the eastern part of the map just to help us out a little bit. Uh, when we're not able to get in, you know, obviously we can sell bulk orders to him. He can sell those off to individuals. And then from there, of course, we'll be both making a decent amount of money, hopefully, from that. Uh, and obviously, we'll keep our hands a little bit more clean in case we're caught with anything. You know, obviously, we're not going to be the only one around selling it. But I did send a telegram back over to Harry, and uh, we should be meeting. He did say something about wanting the prices of every single type of ammo to be 150. Um, so we're going to have a talk with him and see why that is. But uh, either way, we're going to go meet up with him and uh, have a little word. And hopefully, again, get him started with the bulk ammo business and uh, hopefully start making a little bit of money for the both of us. I will see you guys again if anything interesting happens or we're, of course, having our meeting with Mr. Harry. Hi, Harry. Hi, Would you like to meet my new friend? What's his name? Billy. Nice to meet you, Billy. All right. Billy, well, I'll talk to you later. You take care. <laughs> All right. Let's uh, have a talk. <laughs> Uh, as you can see, we made a new friend you over go here. On my boat? Oh, oh yes, yeah, I'm going on it. Oh yeah, this is uh, quite the boat. It ain't fast, but it uh, the job done, you know. Oh boy! And before Harry just comes out to execute me on the boat. The veal. It's been a few days. Uh, hopefully, it's been uh, not bad ones. No, it's 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 been bad. I almost died. You almost died? Holy shit. Oh, yeah. My fiance got stabbed um, Friday. So. Fiance stabbed. I went oh. to go talk to. Yeah, yeah. It was. Yes. Do you know? I don't know. You're not really from around that area. There's this guy. His name's Tony. He runs He runs a farmer's market. He's a big farmer. No, you know, he's, he's, good. he's been there for a few months. He's well known in the community. And literally, without a word, didn't say anything, just stood next to Rosalind for like 10 minutes and then just started to stab her. What the um, hell? Yeah, well, it's because she she had a she had a market stall, you know, mm -hmm. and she wanted to you re rent those for a week and she wanted to renew her rent on it, but he wanted it. So I guess he thought stabbing her the inappropriate reaction. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I went to go talk to him, you know, uh, to clear things up a bit, and then things got aggressive. So I threw a hatchet at him, and then I stabbed one of his friends, and then another one of his friends shot me uh, twice. My collarbone got shattered, and nice. I got hit in the neck, and it nicked an artery. And apparently it wasn't looking good for me for a bit. I would, the, the sutures on that artery kept failing. So I was just kind of bleeding out there on the streets. Nice. Yeah. Well, you're all yeah, right. Was, at least. At least yeah. yeah, I'm still standing. My collarbone's all healed up. My neck should be fine. It was bad for a while. I just, uh, you know, for, for a day or two, I really just had to keep calm mm -hmm, deep breaths mm -hmm. <laughs> you know because the, the doctor was like yeah if you get too worked up the, those sutures in your neck could rupture then you'll just bleed out again i'm like all right well i need to you know Jeez, take it easy. yeah, boy, boy. <laughs> yeah but i'm all healed up now so i'm looking for tony again because i still want to finish that conversation it uh, feels like y'all got a lot to talk about right here really i just want a public apology you know, I oh, want yeah. him to post. I want him to post on the notice board that he stabbed an unarmed lady without saying a word, and that he's sorry for it. He's sorry to Rosalind, and he's sorry to the community for his actions. But he, he can't. He can't swallow his pride. And he can't swallow his ego to do that. He uh, he tell he, he talked to Rosalind yesterday and was like, he didn't. It wasn't a sincere apology. He was like, okay. yeah, I'm sorry what happened, but it's also your fault, you know. And yeah, 
So. Um, so he's... Mm. We're going for a bit, I see. <laughs> yeah, he, 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 I don't think he realized who he stabbed. Mm hmm. You know? I, Rosalind has a lot of friends. Like me. <laughs> oh, yes, exactly. Exactly. Oh, damn. Well, well, if you need that... any help with that, you let me know. No. Okay. Yeah. Like, I don't want to hurt the guy. You well, know? you got to make sure they do, you know, they give the proper respect to obviously the actions he's taking. Yeah. Yeah. I just want him to understand that the things that are going to happen to him are going to continue to happen to him until he makes that public apology. Well, yeah, actions have consequences. Yeah. So. I just gotta find the fucker. He keeps he's slippery. <laughs> Those people are talking to us. Oh, they are? Oh, I'm on the wave. Bye, Odie. How's it going? <laughs> going all right. You need anything? You're just shaking out the boat. Let's see what's going on. That's all. I got you. <laughs> Little. Yeah, I got you something else. <laughs> In order? Yeah. I don't know. Maybe they should go like stop crime or something. No, no, they 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 got to go back to the porch. All right, well, uh, here you want to get down to business? Sure. About that time. All right. So, uh, first of all, uh, so where does the 150 come from, or why why do you think there would be uh, a new fair price to be selling them, mate? So that's the street price of uh, cocaine and opium. Oh, okay, okay. So I, it'd be instead of figuring out maths and. I don't know. It, I want to be able to be like, okay, I'll give you a box of ammo for, you know, uh, a, a unit of whatever you're selling, you know? Oh, so direct trades. Yes, yes. Um, I've actually been talking to some contacts about doing trades uh, for the cocaine. So that would actually work perfect if we were able to have it a stabilized price. It's similar to all the other stuff on the market at the moment. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay. Uh, hmm. Maybe we do it per tap. Uh, so for instance, high velocity 150, and then uh, slugs. Obviously, we can change as well. Um, for the time being, unfortunately, I cannot sell any slugs. But, um, oh yeah. And then in the future, maybe if we get some more ammo one day in the future, hopefully one day, we'll see. Uh, then obviously we can change prices from there. Oh yeah, yeah, definitely. Like yeah, if we ever start doing like split ammo or um... the knockout wounds, the uh, tranquilizers. Yeah, 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 yeah. That, that that definitely because like from from experience high velocity just seems like bullets but better yeah it's you know? kind of not to say boring but it's, it's useful but it's not right. super exciting no. yeah yeah where i think the other variations you know they they could command a different price definitely oh exactly Right, especially the... if the materials are a bit more exotic for to make them oh, yeah, exactly um i'm pretty happy with 150 um as long as the customers are gonna be happy with that then uh, i'm happy with it to be honest um now uh, what price would you want to to buy the mate i guess to start off uh, obviously you're the sole reason i'm able to do the business so uh, what do you think is a fair price for me to sit to you at then obviously you're gonna sell it at 150. um so when when i sell wholesale coffee the saloons and things like that i usually give them like a suggested retail price and if 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 they follow that retail price i make like 40 50 percent and then they make 50 percent so you know if you if you want we could do like 75. Hmm. okay okay um or or you know I don't mind paying lower, <laughs> but, I, but you know, your store is closed right now and you need a source of income as well. And I know, uh, I, I think that that'd be, that'd be fine for like, uh, you know, I, I was saying last time, a big thing, this isn't necessarily a money maker for me. Like, yeah, I want to make money, okay. but uh, I want to be useful. I suppose i want to show that i have something to bring to the table so i, I don't mind paying a more premium to, to show you know that what? i guess all right so harry let's do it this way um so i'm happy i'm happy i think of the price as long as you're still able to get me the materials of saving a half um 
now for the future if we ended up do getting any other dealers obviously they'll be buying it for quite a bit more let's say 100 and then obviously selling it for 150 something like that um but obviously you're a different case and for the time being i really don't trust anyone to be a dealer as well besides you so i'd probably like this to keep it that way for as long as possible all right well i think i'm happy with that uh now how's the conflict uh that is something that is a little on my mind um how do we want to treat it if someone is say someone comes up to me and says hey i heard harry selling ammo uh am i gonna be pissed or am i gonna know that, that's what i need to know well, but which way you think we should go with that hmm. should i be pissed at you or should uh should i know and you know you're one of my, my one of my people or just one another another person yeah i haven't thought about that um Yeah, because as, as far as I know, only... Lord's Prince face. Yeah. As far as I know, only Nav knows that we talk, you know. Um, so as long as we just keep it quiet. Maybe one or two people know that I know you, but I don't think anyone knows I'm close to you. Um, right. So uh, we could just I, treat I, it as you're an independent seller as well. And you would yeah, figure something just, out to be able to get it. Yeah, yeah. I would be like, yeah, he's a... Uh, you know we have an agreement not to work on each other's turf he's you know what he's doing is fine but as long as i don't sell in saint denis i don't get fucked up by harris people <laughs> <laughs> yeah all right all right i think that's probably the safest way to go about it just you know we're each doing our own business and uh, we talk together and that's why the prices are a little higher as well all right uh how how many boxes are you thinking for the for the bulk Oh, well, honestly, it depends on what materials you got. Um, I got a little bit more materials left, but I'm definitely getting a little low. Um, so if we want to do a big order, uh, if you want to bring me a bunch of materials and then we do like a, a huge bulk order of like, let's say like 30 or 20 of each or something like that, uh, I'd be down for that. Or what number um, were you thinking of? Yeah, it, it's... It all depends probably, on the material. Yeah, probably... Hmm. to start probably 20 of each would probably be fine okay okay um and then uh on the other side of that um am i still going to be giving you a, a percentage of the ones i sell as well or how do you want to do that nah nah that's it's um i don't know i i, I think it, it's it, it's fine because if you know you're working your area i'm working my area you know I don't mind supplying because you're giving me a discount with with mm -hmm. the uh with the bulk order price okay okay so hey. i think i think in the end we're both gonna profit quite good. well if you, either, either yeah. Way. Yeah. <laughs> uh so i did bring 64 cells and 64 gunpowder perfect play some more um and i can easily make like within the next two hours i can make 300 shells and like 900 gunpowder holy okay okay i would just need some time to you know run around like a chicken without a head but i could get it done okay 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 and i can i can i can put it in my boat here you know and yeah i was gonna say this is kind of the perfect spot i guess uh yeah that's that's pretty much all for the business then i'll uh i'll get i'll head back to town get started on that and i'll meet you back here at 6 30. perfect uh i'm jealous how much do these boats cost by the way uh not much like a thousand five hundred oh oh damn this thing would be nice for transport man. yeah okay. yeah they're yeah I, I think it's that maybe two thousand because the steamboat's three thousand so this uh -huh. can get from blackwater to saint denis in about 15 16 minutes the oh, steamboat damn. the steamboat can do it in about 13 minutes okay, so it's, okay. it's just a hair faster but like it, the steamboat's a lot smaller the steamboat's like the size of this uh of this top part you know oh okay okay yeah maybe uh one day you take uh you know i've told you a little bit about miss flowers so maybe one day you and your lady and me and my life we can go on a little double date on one of these it'll be nice yeah, nice little out, out into there maybe sink the boat maybe i'll die you know we'll see how it goes <laughs> this uh i actually i actually proposed to rosalind on this boat oh but, um, really it was on lake owenjala who is i brought her out there and that's where we had our that's where we had our first date and so i figured it was kind of symbolic 
uh -huh. to bring her back out there, you know? Oh, I see, I see. That's good. Good time. All right. All right. Well, Eric, you take care. Uh, as always, it's a pleasure. And uh, um, I'll see you in a little bit. Yeah. Well, uh, yeah. How many? What are we looking at for units? Like, how, like how many should I make? Because I can make a lot, but like, just as much as I can, or I'll say as much as you can. If we're trying to get this uh, the business up and running a little more, we're trying to get you sorted out with your bulk. Uh, I think as much as you can get will be perfect. All right. Sounds perfect. All righty. I'll see you in a little bit then, Harry. All right. Take care. Uh, safe sailing. Or not sailing. Thank safe you. uh. Boatman? Boatman. Oh, hey. All right. Take care. I'm the captain now. <laughs> All right. There we go. A little talk with Harry. We got him. <laughs> Look at him. Look at him go. Look at him go. All right. We had a nice, nice talk with Harry. He's going to be giving us a lot of materials. And uh, hopefully we're going to be supplying up some bulk ammo soon. I will uh, see you guys in a little bit once we're grabbing the materials from him. Or, uh, of course, getting everything sorted. We got our good friend Billy here watching over us. But, uh... There we go. There we go. Yeah, we, we, got, we got time, right? Yeah, yeah, we should have plenty. I'm, I'll be pretty fast. Okay. Perfect. I'll go get my All right, Harry's here. Sounds like he had a couple problems on the way over, but uh, Harry is here. Let's go pick up all these supplies. Should have quite a bit. Uh, might take a little bit to move over, but I'm sure we'll get through a quest fast. Gonna move all the materials on over to our uh, storage and I'll see you guys after. Gonna take a little bit of time though. Shouldn't be too bad. All right, so we got the last 64 on us. We're gonna put that away now. There we go, we got plenty of stuff. Perfect, and in time as well. Yeah, I was I was sweating. That's the, when I, when I left here earlier today after our first conversation, I had a headache out in the lake. And I was like, oh, oh I, hope, I was like, I hope that doesn't happen again today. And no one behold, did they? <laughs> Le Le Lake's cursed. Okay, well, Harry, it's always a pleasure doing business. I'm glad we're able to get it done in time. Whew. I'm gonna go yeah. uh, put my horse away. All right, howdy, I'll, catch you, I'll catch you tomorrow. Howdy, howdy. howdy. You think I? All right, there we go. Got all the materials off camera. We are going to uh, hopefully get enough for a bulk order for Mr. Harry. And then again, we have finally expanded the business. Yes, we're doing this with three minutes left on the restart. Uh, we literally got it in perfect timing, but I think it's gonna be about it for this video. Uh, just basically having a nice talk of Harry, finally confirming that we're gonna be expanding our business over into St. Denis and having him run that portion of it. Definitely some big stuff, but I just think it's gonna be about it for this video. If you guys did enjoy it, as always, make sure to leave a like. And if you want to, subscribe. And I will see you in the next video.